Now let's develop the processing script in the standalone version of NI Vision Assistant. We'll need to convert the image to grayscale and then configure the max clamp step to measure the coin diameter. I'll start with the sample image created earlier. This is the one euro coin. Looking under machine vision, and I want to find max clamp. Measures the maximum distance separating object edges. Seeing a complaint here, it's essentially saying it wants a gray level image instead of a color image. I'll come back here to color operations. Look for color plane extraction. And specifically, I want the luminance plane, and this will be the gray level image. Note that when you select the color plane extraction of the current step, it looks gray. If you go back one step, it looks like color again. This way you can see the output of each step. Let's come back to max clamp. I need to get the region of interest to include where all of the sample images are located. Here we see the start point and the end point that has been detected. And scrolling over here a little bit, we see the distance is being reported in millimeters. Again, that's a result of the camera calibration step done earlier. Now, if you watch that number in the red box, you can see the measured diameter for each one of these coins when you make it the active image. Use the overlay graphics to confirm that the measurement is being done properly for each one of your representative images. All right, this looks pretty good. I'll draw your attention to this configuration option here. If you set it to a very narrow angle, such as one, then it constrains the search direction along the horizontal. If you want to make it more flexible and search for the maximum value at all possible angles, just set that to 180 degrees. Let me run one more time through the sample images. It's always a good idea to make sure that you Check all of your representative images each time you make a, a significant change to your processing script. You want to make sure that you haven't broken anything in the process. All right, I'll finish up by saving this script away to a file. I'll put it in my usual location. The Vision Assistant scripts have the file suffix VASCR, and I'll call mine coin diameter.